Good afternoon. Welcoming you all in today's live group session. The topic we are going to discuss today is about uh, learning therapy CPU communication features. We will divide the whole session into two segments. In the first segment, I will demonstrate details about therap CPU communication features, how to use it and benefits of using CPU communication features. In the second segment, you can ask me questions regarding today's topic. For, us. for asking questions, you need to click on the hand icon. You will find it in the right. When you click on it, or when you click on the hand icon, I will unmute you. And then you can place your questions. You can also type questions using the comment or question box. I will try to address your queries accordingly. Now I'm going to share you my screen. The participants who are using Therap for a long time or participating in our previous webinars, you know, for using Therap software, you need to click on the, you need to click on the Therap system. For doing this, you need to go to Therap Global's website and type in the website www.therapglobal.net. This is the website of Therap Global. Uh, in this website, you will find uh, products and features of Therap software, training and support related materials for using different modules and activities of Therap Global. Uh, so we hope uh, when you use our software or when you face any kind of problems uh, using any modules, you can go to this website and under there, you can find Thera Global Training and Support Materials. We have lots of support materials, uh, including user guides, training videos, and mobile friendly guides. So you can use those accordingly and use the software with these. Who are new in this webinar or uh, first? Uh, getting the idea of therap software uh, you need to know that uh, for logging in into a system you need to click in the login to therap global i'm clicking on it this will take us to login page in the login page you need to provide three login credentials oh. The login name, password, and provided code. I'm entering my login name, password, and uh, next I'm going to enter the provided code. Each agency have this unique provided code from. Um, Therap Global, we provide you when you sign up or do PS2 with us. So after entering these three credentials, the user, the login name, password, and provider code, you need to click on the login. I'm clicking so. This has taken to us uh, into the Therap system or the Therap software. Uh, the page currently we are seeing in Therap system, we call this as dashboard. The users or the users who are using Therap, you know all about this uh, dashboard. Even uh, the users who are participating or seeing our previous webinars, you all know what dashboard is. Basically, dashboard or is uh, like a home, like the home page of Therap software. From here, uh, in the left side of the page, you will find two individual L. We call these things as tab. Uh, clicking on different tab will uh, open different features or different modules. Uh, today, our topic is about uh, Therap SQL communication feature. Uh, you will find it in the right side of the dashboard in this section under SCOM. Uh, SQL communication, we call it uh, uh, as a user friendly word as uh, SCOM. How we can use the SCOM feature 
I'm just going to give you a brief idea about what is SCOM or secure communication in the system is really it. Uh, SCOM has been uh, designed to facilitate communication between users in a uh, secure manner. It's a feature similar to uh, using email and ensure communication between users easier. Users can send individual progress related information and attach the previously created modules uh, uh, for tracking their progress, uh, including T logs, individual education plans, health tracking related modules, and send those to the parents, the uh, administrators. Uh, uh, for uh, uh, getting their view or to know how the individual is progressing. Uh, beside, you can also uh, use it <clears throat> as a mode of communication between uh, your colleagues, your co workers. Uh, uh, if you are uh, used to using email, uh, you will find it easier to use the SCOM feature. Uh, now, uh, here is the SCOM. Under this, you will find inbox, set items, compost, tabs, custom user group. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to describe and demonstrate how you can use the SCOM feature. I'm going to click on the compost. A pop up uh, box has presented as the map um, showing to select uh, the message type on his general and on his individual here. If we click on the general, uh, uh, we can then uh, uh, create uh, mails. Uh, um, we can uh, create masses not specific to an individual. That means it's for general purpose. Uh, it's between your colleagues. You can share your uh, notes or your thoughts or events, any particular thing about your agency using the general option. And uh, if, uh, if you use the individual care option, you can uh, uh, select. And then you can send messages uh, individual uh, specifically individual related information by using the individual care option i'll sh show you both of this uh, first if we click on the general uh, the, interf uh, the interface is similar to any uh, email domain you are using an email service provider you are using if you use Gmail, such as Gmail, Yahoo, uh, Microsoft Outlook, a similar kind of interface can be found. Uh, uh, if we look in the first section, uh, marked as uh, marked with red, star or red asterisk, uh, here you can enter the recipient name, the email. Uh, you can type the recipient's name. Uh, I was going to select uh, Mr. Anwar Rahman as the recipient. You can type and select his name. Uh, another option, if you click on this icon, it will show all the users of the agency, all the users of the agency and their accounts. From the list, you can uh, select all of them by clicking this, or you can use specific name or specific user to send an email. If we click on the records for showing 100, the maximum number in a page, uh, by this. Uh, we can show the users. So you can click one, two, or more users, even all the users. So 
So after selecting their, their names or your preferred user accounts, then I need to click on the add recipients to select the uh, users of the agency. The next section is uh, the, uh, uh, selecting the notification level as the low, medium, or high. You can select the notification level according to your needs. Um, here I am selecting here as medium. The next box is subject uh, for sending emails. I need to uh, yeah, enter the subject. I'm, I'm typing a subject here. The next section is the description section. In there software or in the features of uh, and the SCOM feature, when you need to enter description about which you can enter the description related to your subject which is uh, i'm typing going to have a teachers meeting on 7 November 8. You can write more words or more sentences according to English. Uh, for demo purpose, I'm just writing a sentence. We are going to have a teacher's meeting on 7 November at 3 p.m. If you want, we can add file uh, using the file attachment section. If you, can, if you click here, you can select the file by browsing. So, uh, after uh, entering information, especially in the recipients, in the notification box, in the subject box, and uh, the description box you can either save or send the uh, message uh, if you click on the save uh, it will save as it will save and you will find it in the draft section and if you submit it will uh, if you say uh, click on send uh, the message will be sent i'm clicking on Um, a success message has been shown. Uh, if you click on the sent items, you will find what have so far has been sent using this account. Uh, if we click on the inbox, I also selected the recipient's name. I am using the account Imra Rahman, so the same message has been placed here. If you click on this, we will, can see the message and can reply or forward the message to other colleagues. Just please note that uh, uh, with these features, you can only send messages to your colleagues, co workers, and the user's account which have been created under the program site. You can send messages to them. Uh, the next thing I'm going to uh, present to you, uh, how we can uh, send message related to individual care. If you click on the compass, you can hide this. Here in the therap uh, secure communication feature, uh, you will have need to select the message type according to your needs. Next type so shown you the how to send general message to your uh, co-workers. And now I'm showing how you can send the how you can send individual care related message to your colleagues. That means here you can uh, send the message specifically on an individual of your or an of a student of your age, school or agency. If I click on individual care, I need to select the individual name. Going, I'm going to 
create a message or I'm going to send a message related to individual Nila Chaudhuri. So I'm type his name here. Fill, typing three letters. The first three letters of his name will show his name. I'm selecting Nila Chaudhuri. Then uh, we need to click on this to proceed on. So uh, we can see that uh, I have this message contains information specific to Nikolai Chaudhary. That means uh, when you send a message to your coworkers, they will know the message is specifically about uh, Nikolai Chaudhary. You can write your recipient's name. Uh, in, uh, a few minutes ago, I have shown you how to select the recipients. So either you can type uh, his or uh, her name or the names or you can select one by clicking on it now I'm going to send this message to both the equal and uh, this Rahman uh, after selecting the name we need to click on the add recipient button the RAM has been selected. The next section is clicking the notification label and selecting no. Then we need to click on the subject. I'm typing the subject here. Progress of uh, the next section is writing description. I am sharing to deluxe that. Need to be reviewed for tracking his progress. So after writing a description, the next section you will find that there are form attachment in this section you can select select form time if you click on this we will find different modules has been presented here and you can select the specific module and send the uh, created uh, uh, send the entire information about him uh, as i was uh, going to <coughs> uh, send two t logs so i will select the t log after clicking the tiller, we can click on the search link and we can uh, search uh, for the tiller which we have to send to him. Uh, you know, the user who are using our tiller module, uh, you know how to search the tiller. The same interface is there. So, and I'm going to search T logs about him in the month of October. I have found two T logs. And then you can select this. And can we need to click on the attach form button to attach the information. You need to uh, understand that only in Thera form attachments you can attach modules, different modules to track his progress. And under the file attachment section, you can add other files. So, after that, uh, if I want to send the main, I need to click on the send button, or if I want to uh, send it another time, I can save it. If I save it, it will save. Uh, it will be found in the draft box, like your mail. 
So if I send on this, click on the send link, the message will be successfully sent. If I want to see what I have sent, I can click on the send items. And if you click on this, you can see the uh, two T logs that I have, I have shared with the, the recipients. And if you click on the open link, it will show the T log which we want to which we have shared with the with two colleagues if we click on another one we can also see the three logs so uh, if you it's just uh, like using your email account which, uh, like um, so the therap uh, secure communication features is basically similar to the email uh, you send to uh, others uh, but uh, it is in this th in a therap software uh, you will find this feature to only send mails to your colleagues or co-workers even if parents accounts has been uh, created under the provider code on the programmer side you can send the, that uh, to the parents and they can view that t logs or the individual education related plan or the health tracking related modules and can share their feedback or overview uh, about those uh, through um, uh, sql communication so that's uh, all from BIPAC. I'm now going to take questions from you. I can form your screen. I will unmute you so you can place your question. Uh, in any part of understanding or learning about the SQL communication feature, you can ask me questions. I'll try to address those. You can also type question within the question box. If you type a question, I will also try to answer those. Well, as there is no questions from the audiences, so we can think that the participants who have participated in this session have learned about on the SQL communication features. And can use it to uh, send messages to their colleagues. And hopefully you will use it and find it beneficial for your agency. Uh, the part, uh, if we go back to our website, uh, there are, uh, I was talking about the support materials we have. You can select any support materials. Uh, I'm selecting user guides. Or you can find about different modules, learn about the process more. Uh, currently, we are organizing or conducting online group session or webinar in weekly basis, you'll find it on the training session, you click on it. You can find the upcoming online group session that we're going to conduct. Uh, you can click on the register now link and register yourself and participate on those, on that or those webinars. You can also find the previous they conducted uh, webinars. We have uploaded uh, the files there. You can click on this and learn about this, uh, learn about different features from here as well. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, that's all from my part. We hope 
that he will participate in our upcoming webinars and does learn about different modules and features of Therox software and by using the electronic documenting system of Therox you can better the supports you are providing to your students or individuals so thank you all again for participation in today's webinar we hope to see you soon thank you